We all know that manufacturers are doing everything they can to just make products like these USB thumb drives as cheap as possible. And part of that cheapening of these devices has yielded us GUIDs that are now duplicated, you know, maybe a few times, several hundred times, or even thousands of times to the point where if you're using an operating system like Unraid that relies on a GUID, you can now be blacklisted with your device because that GUID is already in use. Now that's not really something Unraid can prevent because they're looking at GUIDs and it's the manufacturers who are flashing the chips with the same GUIDs instead of giving us unique ones. So because of that, many users have been looking at other devices or adapters to install Unraid onto like a SD card that then goes into a USB adapter, which seems to be working so far. And some other users are also recommending MSATA adapters where you can plug it into USB and then install Unraid on an MSATA flash storage device. So with that knowledge in mind, I have been doing research to see if this is actually a viable solution. And I have talked to Unraid and browse Discord and the forums as well. And it seems like that this product from Elu Ting was a solution that everyone was looking at because they were providing unique GUIDs. Well, my dear viewers, I seem to either have the best luck in the world or the worst luck in the world because after five attempts of going through these devices, four brand new ones, one that was previously sent to me, none of these have unique GUIDs and in fact, they're all the same. So originally, I thought the problem might be with me because three of them, I used a USB-C to USB adapter, plugged it into my Mac to do the Mac, to do the install for Unraid using the Unraid creation tool or USB creator tool, sorry, and they were all they all had the same GUID, which was already blacklisted by Unraid. So I couldn't actually use this adapter with the MSATA device because my uh, that that GUID was blacklisted. So I thought that maybe the USB adapter was somehow providing a GUID that the MSATA device was capturing and then using as its own GUID. Well, I decided to get three more of these devices and I plugged one into this laptop here, one into my MacBook, and one into my gaming PC, and lo and behold, they also all had the same GUID. However, talking with Unraid, they claim that their developers all have the same device with their own unique GUIDs. And there are other users on the forum that also have these same devices who seem to have unique GUIDs. So why am I having an issue? I don't know. But before I break one more of these things, I wanted to test it on a completely different system, so this will be the fourth system now, and see if we get an issue. So I haven't opened this one yet, and I wanna open it with you guys and go through the entire process of how this is working, and uh, we'll go from there. <laughs> so only have one shot at this, so we absolutely cannot mess this up. So this is a brand new device that I haven't even unboxed yet, and we're gonna pull it out of the box and open it for the first time. So that way we can definitively know that hopefully I'm not doing something wrong. So here we go. Brand new in the packaging, completely unopened. No point, this is the point of no return from here now that this thing is open. All right, let's get our previously used MSATA device. I'm actually kind of nervous about this, so I'm struggling to get this mounted. <laughs> But there we go. So we got both screws in. It should be good to go. Now, instead of doing the sensible thing and using all of the devices I've already used, the gaming PC, the MacBook, and this laptop, I'm gonna instead use Linux in this case to try and get a unique UID with a completely different system. So in here, if I can open this, I have hidden away an old CentOS 7 mini PC. And I don't know if I can get this out with one hand. I can, all right. Sorry for shaky cam. And with this PC, if it even still boots, 
We're gonna see if we can get Unraid installed on this. Actually, getting Unraid installed is the easy part, but we're just gonna check to see if this has a, a unique GUID, serial number, whatever, whatever it is, that's what we're gonna do. So I need to get power, keyboard, mouse, and a monitor. Ugh. Let me clean up in here first. Okay, this system is so old that I actually can't record using software because it's just incapable of doing that. Well, it might be capable, but the quality would be really bad. And I don't have a device that I can capture the output with, unfortunately. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. I'll show you everything that I see as it happens when we plug it in. Um, and it may be a little jank, but I'll do my best. Also, I couldn't find a spare mouse. Uh, the only mouse I have is a Bluetooth mouse. <laughs> so we're just gonna, we're just gonna use the old good old fashioned keyboard and mouse here. And I'm not getting display, so we're off to a great start already. All right, so device isn't plugged in. I just wanna make sure that the command I'm using works. So that's what I'm doing right now. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna filter for serial and U, UUID. Uh, so there's currently two hard drives or two SSDs in this CentOS 7 machine. And we can see a bunch of UUIDs for other devices as well, but we've got the two SSDs here. Uh, they're four, okay, yeah. So we can ignore all this. So I, th I think that's the command. I'm pretty sure it's the command. So we'll plug this in to one of our USB ports. Uh, I did just unplug a USB device, so one of these will probably go away and that's fine. Uh, so we have a connectivity light Let's do that again. Oh, oh, wait, this is the same. I don't see, oh, wait, there it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is, the, it has the same U U or G U I D or serial. In this case, it's serial. Serial is the same thing uh, on Windows as well. So if you were to look in the device manager in Windows, you'll still, you'll still see the same serial number for the other devices, but uh, also parent device and GUID are basically all the same. So that's that. So you know what, that's just for fun. Let's see, I got another USB port. This one doesn't have an adapter in it, but I'm gonna plug it in anyway. We should still be able to see it. Yeah, so it lit up on the computer. Let's do this again. Okay, I don't think it's gonna give us I don't think it's gonna give us another one here. So let me clear this to get this back to the top. Yeah, so we're, st we're still only showing one. Um, so let's unplug the currently mounted one. We'll run this again. Okay, I, I don't see it. So what we'll do, let's have everybody here. Here's an old one. This is the new one. So I got the device on there. Should go ahead and remove the SATA adapter or I'm sorry, the mSATA card. We'll plug it into an already broken one, or not, I shouldn't say broken, uh, one that's already been verified as having the bad GUID of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, one DB seven. All right, so let's get this bad boy in there. All right, it's connected. Let's clear this line. So there it is again, totally different. 1DB7. So I think that's definitive proof for me enough to say that these things are all flashed with the same GUID. Now, for fun, um, I am gonna plug this back into my Mac just so we can see it from the USB Creator Tools perspective. All right, with that out of the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and get my USB adapter uh, set up. I did go ahead off camera, I did move my SATA device over to the newest adapter or the one that we just looked at to prove that's the same. So let me get this plugged in. Bring up the creator tool, USB creator. Yep. 
So this this isn't gonna work. This is this will already be blacklisted. Uh, it would be really cool if in the tool it would it would blacklist. So let me do a quick screen a <laughs> queen screen capture of this. I'm gonna go ahead and close this. Unmount our drive. Ejected it. Now I should I probably should screen record it, but I just I really just don't. I don't think it's necessary to screen record and take the time to do it when I can just capture it with a screenshot. This isn't supposed to be a very glamorous video that's edited to all perfection and back. Um, but I did want to prevent people from buying these and wasting their money in the event that their GUIDs or UUIDs are already blacklisted. All right, so old one, or I'm sorry, the new new one took it off. Old one, let's plug this one in. We should get no different results here. All right, creator tool is up. Here's the screenshot I just took. Do a little side by side comparison here. One DB7. 1 db7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9. So, there we have it. That is confirmed. In my mind, anyway. Let's stop recording. Stop recording in 3, 2, 1. There we have six out of six of these devices right here. Count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six of them, all with the same GUIDs. We have busted this myth. I don't think that this is a good workaround for getting around the duplicate GUID problem. I think, um, I don't know. I think we might have to test something else in the future and see if we can get different results. I have now tested this with four different computers. Now I know that the testing is for you guys was off screen or off camera the first time. It was because I was working on another video where we were gonna use these, but it got blacklisted immediately when I attempted to use this device for the first time and that's what spawned this video. But at the time, I didn't realize what I was looking for. So I did a lot of off camera testing and unfortunately, so you, know, you can take my word for it. You don't have to take my word for it, but I am gonna say that all of these these devices are not a good workaround. So um, I need to get my results published here. And I don't know, I feel like I'm missing something in front of this video. Um, oh yes, I know. I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but one interesting thing about all these devices is on the box, they all share the same uh, serial number. I guess it's a serial number. So let me, let me get this on camera real quick. So I think these serial numbers, I don't know if these are unique to this batch, like if I just got a batch of all the same GUIDs, or if these serial numbers are the same for all of their models, which is a possibility. That's something that uh, we can't be, or I can't prove or be sure of. I have, but like I said, I have six of these. Now one of my boxes is missing and destroyed because I thought that I would, you know, this video, the original video would be easy to make. I could just pop the MSATA device on here and then if this device were to die, I could put it on another one and we'd be all hunky-dory, but that isn't the case. Um, all right, so if you guys have any questions about this video in particular, I know it's kind of all over the place, uh, drop some comments below, we can discuss it and figure out why they might all have the same. I'm pretty sure I already know why they're all the same. Uh, but I'm interested to know what you guys are thinking and how you feel about this. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.